Hi hello and welcome to the dramatic. In this episode of drawing practice, we are going to learn how to draw and shade a white sphere in a white background. For this drawing, I am going to use brush to artist pencils. I mostly will be using 2H and uh, HB. To begin with, I am going to draw a circle with the help of 2H pencil. The circle has to be very very light but I'm going to draw this a little darker so that it will be visible in the video and once I have shown you how big the circle is I'm going to erase it with my needle eraser uh, to make it much more lighter. Before we start shading, we should know the direction of the source of light. So I here I am assuming that the light falls from above, which means that the bottom part will be darker and the sphere uh, side which faces the light, that is the above part of the sphere has to be much more lighter. Now I'll begin my shading with my 2H pencil. Now that we have completed our circle, let us begin to shade. Before shading, I want you to remember two points. Number one, to give uniform strokes. Number two, is drawing it very, very, very lightly. We are going to make darker areas darker by giving a lot of layers like this. So always begin with lighter strokes. Now I'll just show you how the drawing will be when you don't give uniform strokes. One place you give, uh, you give pressure to your pencil and one place you don't see. I hope you can see the difference. One is darker and one is lighter. This is what I want you to avoid. I want you to give uniform pressure throughout the first layer of shading. When you hold your pencil around its middle, the pressure at the tip will be less, which means that you will be able to create lighter strokes when you are holding your pencil around its middle. As you can see, I am not shading the topmost part of the sphere. As I told you earlier, the top part of the sphere is the lightest because the light falls from above. So I will show you how to shade that part in a few seconds. Now I am starting with the second layer. I am doing the second layer only in the bottom part because the bottom uh, part of the sphere is the darkest. Remember that all the layers have to be uniform. Only then your shading will look very smooth. Now what I'm doing is I'm using a tissue paper and smudging these strokes into the top part of the sphere. This process will make sure to give a lightest shade to the top surface of the sphere. Now let us draw the shadow that is created by this sphere. 
since the light is coming from above the shadow will be just below the sphere this is while assuming that the sphere is resting on a surface Let us finish this drawing by giving the third layer. The third layer has to go to the bottom part, of the bottommost part of the sphere, which will be darker, much more compared to uh, the other areas of the sphere. So this is the sphere, white sphere resting on a surface. Now let us assume that this particular sphere is levitating. It is above a surface. So how do we draw the shadow when it is above a surface? I am using same 2H pencil to draw the shadow. So this shadow will be lying on the surface on the surface below the sphere because here this sphere is levitating so here is the finished drawing this is how the white sphere looks when it is levitating and look at the position of the shadow here and this is how the white sphere looks when it is resting on the surface don't forget to note the position of the shadows in both the drawings please practice this drawing and let me know how it turned out for you you can send me your drawings to the email id that i have mentioned in the description box your feedback means a lot to me and encourages me to do a lot more for you. Uh, thanks for watching the video. Have a nice day.